because I'll tell you what, I'm not going to send a letter supporting the City Council's purchase of the Bearcat. This edition of the Ridley Report is brought to you by Freekeen.com. You can redo it, and you can get it anyway. I'm really very sure that if my daughter um, got caught cheating on the test, she would get a zero and a week's worth of dimensions. That's all. And I think in making the statement to you better with respect to our relationship with the police department, that As elected school board members, we greatly respect the work that our city council does and are always careful to be sure that we respect its decision-making roles on city matters. And we have enjoyed the same respect from the city council, who have always recognized our responsibility over public school matters. As we discussed at our last meeting, I think that all of us on the board agree um, that our board will support whatever decision that the City Council makes concerning the Bearcat. Weighing in yay or nay requires an awful lot of information that we don't have, that we were not given, that we just don't have the benefit of. And so I think that um, for that reason, yeah. and for the reason that I stated earlier, which is that we have we have two separate uh, divisions of labor in the city, and ours includes school budget issues and negotiations with bargaining units that work in our schools. And it doesn't include oversight or budget of the police department. Which means we shouldn't have been asked in the first place, probably. Here's the year. Um, our action tonight is that we refuse, that we decline to send a letter, period. That's our action tonight. Because I'll tell you what, I'm not going to send a letter supporting the City Council's purchase of the Bearcat. Well, I would add to the financial piece that as a grant funded object, the money is spent. So whether we as a city, whether the city approves the Bearcat grant or not, the money, it will just go somewhere else. So in the big picture, the money's been spent, and that, that can be very hard for some people to feel okay about. So that isn't really a decision that we're making. Us saying no won't save anybody money because the bear cat would just go elsewhere. And These are the things that, as a they, board member, I wouldn't even have time to research all this stuff. They don't talk about it. Yeah, no, of course not. So, hey, hi. Yeah, I'm audio taping. Hi. That's awesome. That's yeah, because in New Hampshire, <laughs> you can't audio tape someone without them knowing. Well, just an extra layer of defense yeah. <laughs> against the law that is sometimes <laughs> misapplied. But I've got a question for you, Mrs. Higgins. Uh, what's the difference between, or you said, if we don't... Yeah, Mrs. Higgins is my mother. I, I apologize. When you said that, uh, you know, if, if, if they don't take it, then it doesn't make any difference because it's just going to go to someone else. How is that different from saying, that, well, if I don't take this stolen property, someone else is going to take and this actually, stolen property? Actually, probably in, in the clearest of terms, no different at all. And, and I actually was corrected on some of that terminology after the meeting. So, um, you're right. You make a very good point. I have no argument to what you just said. There is so no you can difference. you can agree with me that, I that can agree federal that stuff is stolen property? Well, no, because that's not what you asked me. <laughs> oh, okay. You asked me how is this different than yeah. using that excuse. Right. No, I think that we have to be very careful in really researching and looking at where the money's coming from, what it's really being spent on, who's behind it, what's attached to it. It's coming it from poor farmers in Mississippi. Yeah, right. Exactly. exactly. <laughs> poor vendors on Liberty Street. <laughs> So no, but you know, I as a school board member, I want to just be a school board member. I don't, I don't want to, you know, discuss these things. All right. I'll go to the well, city thanks council for discussing them with me. You're welcome. All right. Appreciate it. Yep. What are you?
you arresting this man for? You've seen the dramatic liberty arrests in Keene, New Hampshire. Now see 111 reasons why you should move there and reinforce these gutsy activists. Keene's advantages are compelling, and the list of reasons to move has just been updated. For details, visit freekeen.com.